whatever happened to the Inculist skincare? Now, the Inculist were a darling of the drugstore skincare world just four years ago. People were hyping up the brand online, suggesting that it could even eclipse the popularity of The Ordinary, one of the biggest skincare brands on planet Earth. However, four years later, very few people actually talk about the Inculist anymore. Their recent product launches have been a bit of a flop, and a lot of physical retailers are now removing their product from their shelves. Where did it all go wrong? Well, I think with the Inculist, it's definitely a case of marketing and kind of over-promising and under-delivering. They opted to go for innovative sounding ingredients. They made very bold claims about their products. And whilst often they did work, they could never live up to the hype that the brand wanted you to buy into, so people were just left disappointed. They also vastly increased their price point of their newer launches, meaning they lost some of that drugstore skincare focus that the brand were really loved for. The newer launches just don't deliver the way that the original Holy Grail ones do. I would say if you want to shop the Inkless, stick to the originals, they're the best. Like and follow for